everybody and welcome back to Random Redstone. Now in this episode we are going to be doing something which is pretty much a review of, a f of an earlier episode. As an earlier episode ago we did disco lighting. Now at that time I was kind of doing basic disco lighting. I wasn't really doing anything complicated or, or really kind of complicated in any way really. But here I've got a, a very kind of nice simple system and right on cue is the weather. So I need to <laughs> sort that out. Every single video it seems to rain. I have no idea why. That just seems to be the way of my channel. I have no idea why. It seems to be a tradition. So pretty much just using these three controls, I can pretty much make either of these lights do whatever I want. They can flash. They can literally just go on constant, and it is just amazing, really. So pretty much they've got we got one. We got light one and light. Two, like two is obviously going to channel two, like one's obviously going to channel one, and we can uh, control them from here. So, in order to make sure that you can see the lights are working properly, I'm going to do time set night. So then that way it is dark, so we can actually see that the, the lights are actually lighting the place. So what I'm going to do is let's just make random one. Okay, um, I want. I want light number one to be flashing, and I want light number two to be normal. So we can see that there, but say I don't like it anymore, all I have to do is press the one that says normal, and then light goes back to normal again. And all I have to do is flick this to channel two, so the leaper is now, is now facing towards channel two, and I can make light number two flash if I want, or, and then I can make it go back to normal. But what if I want to have like a full-on party and have both flashing? Well, just press one, go to the other channel, and press that one and then for literally both of them are flashing and we can have like a mini rave party which is awesome so then we can literally just go and press normal on one and then normal on the other and then they're all both back to normal again which is incredibly awesome these things are great if you're planning to have some kind of like disco kind of build like building in some way as all you need is three controls and you control both the, the systems incredibly easily instead of having to have like three levers not three levers four levers or something like that for each of them like one control and the flash for one the normal for one and then the other one the control and the flash and the normal for the other and it'll kind of get a bit kind of annoying but if it's three it's nice and simple and it's nice and easy to do as well so obviously the lighting is just simple redstone lan lantern kind of thing really very very simple it's just a cube with the redstone going like that going into there so let's have a look at the red so obviously we do time set day so we can actually have it a bit brighter there we go better so we've got all of those there as you can see so you've got normal flash channel one channel two as you can see and we also have the redstone in here so let's have a have a look at this redstone shall we so we've got this is from the piston this controls whether which channel is going to be controlled or not so let's follow this one first shall we so as you can see there is this system here now what this does is it allows this it pretty much allows the piston well the piston puts a block in the way of the channel that you want to control so at the moment it's controlling this channel which i believe is channel one and when it pushes it towards there, there is a block here which goes there and makes it so you can panel, uh, pow, panel? power channel number two. And it is the exact same down here. You can see the piston there going into the iron blocks. So yeah, that's the bit. It's a little bit like twister here. So there we go. Okay. So you can probably hear my dog in the background again. My dog's in my room for some reason, barking a bit, but oh well. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's how simple it is pretty much. The block goes in the way of the channel that you want to control. The one that you don't want to control, it pretty much is out of the way of. Now here is all of those are normal pistons. So these, that one there and that one down there are sticky pistons. But this one and this one are normal pistons. And there is a piston there, a piston there, and they are normal pistons. Now the whole point of these are pretty much to push the block down or push the block up. So obviously right now it's being power constant. That's because of this power block here. And if we were to push this one down, and uh, let me just set one of them to flash. So um, I'll set channel one to flash there. 
So we can see channel 1 is flashing at the moment. That is because there is an iron block there, not a redstone block. The iron block there is making a complete circuit, making it so it can flash. But when there is the redstone block there, as you can see here, there, the, literally the energy can't get through, mainly as, well, it's pretty much all on constant anyway, so there's no point flashing because it's 100% on. So that's how it works, and pretty much the pistons just push it down or push it up to the relevant one. So pretty much the redstone for that is just pretty much just loads of weird trails of redstone. Let me just try and get up through here. There we go, so that one's going all there for this one. So that button goes straight to the ones at the bottom, and this one's going straight to the ones at the top. Now the loop one is a very is my very kind of simple loop machine. It's just a torch, redstone dust, repeater, going into a block, going into dust, going into a block, going into the torch. It's incredibly simple. And that just goes along there into the repeaters, which then go actually through the block, which will then do it. Obviously if it's the redstone power block, then obviously it won't power it. So let's just put that onto normal mode again. So there go, just okay. There go. Okay, so there go. My my dog seems to <laughs> my dog seems to be kind of joining in. I don't know why. I didn't think my dog was going to be joining in, but oh well. So yeah, the entire system itself is incredibly cool because just using those three controls, you can control either of those lights in any way you want. It is as cool as that. So yeah, these bit of redstone I it actually brought as a update kind of updated kind of version for the disco lighting. Um, so, yeah, until next time, bye!